Yo, welcome back to my fishing channel. Um, I'm gonna do a second and final review on the Whopper Plopper 75. Um, I was wrong on something I said in my first video. Um, I, I said it weighed less than the 90 and that I couldn't cast it as far. I couldn't cast it as far, but it does not weigh less. It actually weighs more. Uh, I just assumed it weighed less because it's a 75 to 90. They're getting, I thought they were getting smaller and the package is smaller, I couldn't cast it as far, I just assumed it. I, I was shocked when I found out it weighed more than the 90. Um, but I can cast the 90 farther. I don't know if it's the shape of the 90, maybe it flies through the air farther because it's more aerodynamic opposed to the 75, which the main difference, it's got a crankbait style body. Um, it is a little bit more buoyant than the 90. Um, it doesn't get as many weeds because it does have that little guard or pieces of grass, I should say, wrapped up in there. It does have that little guard that works sometimes that the uh, 90 has. Or, I'm sorry, the 110. Uh, and its tail is also the size of a 110. That paddle is way bigger than the 90. Uh, so the final wrap on this baby, it's a uh, crankbait size shaped whopper plopper. It's got bigger eyes. It's got a tail the size of a 110. Um, but I don't think it casts as far as the 90. I think because of the bigger body, it wants to kind of nosedive once it gets out there so far you can still bomb it it still goes really far just I could watch that 90 a mile um, hookup ratio is good um, caught fish both times I fished with them and that's about it it's just a great great addition to the whopper plopper family if you see one get one try it out you're gonna catch fish on it that's it we'll see you guys next time Someone. Fat boy strikes again. Oh, that's a good one. 